What is going on everybody? Just wanted to make a quick video here highlighting two plays from Serious Mo and Problems round of 16 matchup from the Madden 17 Championship tournament. After rewatching this game, I have to say I cannot even imagine how Serious Mo must have felt after this game and going home the way he did. It 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 was just hard to watch. Just I felt for him while watching it and uh just watching it all over again i was just like man that, that's got to be the toughest way i've ever seen somebody go home in a madden tournament that i can remember recently uh, but getting right into it here fourth quarter four minutes 24 seconds left problem on offense down four marching down at serious most 31 yard line let's go ahead look at problems offensive formation you got gun wing trio week out of no other than the new orleans saints playbook Serious Mo in the standard nickel look flipped. So you got the nickel back on the right side, uh, posing a threat to bring some pressure off that right edge. You have the D line pinched just like normal. Uh, you have Mo has not shifted his linebacker. So basically, just a standard base align press, uh, pinch your D line type of look from his nickel. Not moving the safeties up. Some people move the safeties into the box. Uh, Mo playing a more conservative look. On defense pre-snap so you're gonna see snap the ball here coming up uh, for a problem and you're gonna see how the play kind of unfolds you see the baby motion there from problem I made a video on that exact motion to try and pick up that pressure coming off that right side from that nickelback you see uh, the tight end in this case ends up uh, chipping the defensive end and then searching for someone else to block but you can see Post snap, Mo did a good job disguising the coverage. He's actually sending the corner blitz three. So you've got cornerback coming off that left edge, and then he's going to rush all four of his linemen. So he's blitzing five, sending six, or blitzing five, dropping six rather. And it looks like a three deep, three under type of coverage for Mo here. You're going to see uh, the three deep shell kind of developing here across uh, the deep part of the field. And you see Mo kind of using patrolling the middle. These two guys look like they're probably left in their default seam flats. Uh, that's the default zone for those defenders out of that corner blitz three. And that's what it looks like they're playing. Some people will put them in cloud flats. Uh, some people, you know, put hard flats. Some just leave seam flats. It looks like Mo went with the seam flats here uh, post snap. Now problem on offense blocking six since he did motion that tight end but you can see the play the route developing it looks like saints in out of this gunwing trio weak formation so you got table route out the backfield you have c route on that left side and then what you're going to see develop is a deep dig right there and then a deep post behind it and so Moe's going to have a tough task trying to guard that deep in as well as the deep post on that right side so as the play develops here you're going to see Moe's defense actually uh, ended up forcing problem to roll away from the place that he probably wanted to go with the ball. He's got his running back wide open in the flat right there on the table route, but because of Moe's left side pressure, it forces problem to roll right. So it effectively, you know, cuts the field in half. Basically, uh, these two receivers are out of the equation. Now all Moe has to worry about is this deep dig and this deep post route on the right side of the field, which Moe is in a very good position to use her. So Roll the play a little more, you're going to see right here. So Mo gets the block shed. So now Mo not only has this cornerback running after Problems QB, but also defensive end. So Problems on a definite time clock here, but you see the playmaker. Problem just playmaker. This receiver upfield, you saw that sharp cut. Uh, that was due to the playmaker ability chemistry in Mutt. In my opinion, the best ability chemistry you can possibly have because of the impact in situations like this one if you're Mo there's no way you can humanly react to that playmaker you have to be able to predict it but Mo was really I mean it was a 50 50 guessing game at that point either he had to predict the playmaker and start making his way upfield or he had to sit on the in route Mo sat on the in route problem with went with the playmaker even with the playmaker it's still a sketchy throw so I think Mo did the right thing by sitting on the in route because Mo knows he's got deep help over the top if he needs it right here problem throws it to the playmaker Mo's user out of the equation now but an on the run throw across the quarterback's body and across the field you got to feel good about that if you're Mo here but as you're gonna see uh, 
<laughs> she uh, didn't feel too good after the result. So Randy Moss goes up here. You can kind of see he's getting the position. Mo has now clicked on to the safety. So Mo probably either going to go for a hit stick here or try to make a play on the ball. I think if you're Mo, you have to go for a hit stick. It does not look like your safety's in a position, especially knowing Moss is going to go up, high point that ball, and go for a spec catch. And as you see, Mo goes. It looks like he went for the play on the ball here, over pursues just a tad bit, and problem ends up walking into the end zone. So kind of unfortunate play right there for Mo as you see his reaction and you can see I pause it on the freeze frame if you're Mo right here I think you gotta go for the hit stick but uh, that's really splitting hairs in this scenario uh, most of the time this will end up being a win for the defense most of the time you will get an animation where your defender bats the ball out of Randy Moss's hands so kinda unfortunate on that play there for Mo as problem takes the three-point lead but I will say a fantastic playmaker by problem and definitely making the most out of a bad situation 99.9% .9 of Madden players would have just thrown the ball away there and you know ended up kicking a field goal it's third and ten it would have been fourth and ten people would have taken their three and still been down one problem in that top one percentile that's actually gonna make something happen on that play so kudos to problem uh, for making it an outstanding play so now the other play you're gonna see here is now 17 seconds left in the quarter Mo up four once again problem at the 26 and you're gonna see basically a mirror image of what you just saw pre-snap on the play before you see gunwing trio week once again for problem you see Mo again nickel corner on the right side this time Mo shifts his linebacker so he's got a double edge look on the right side you still see the pinch line safety still playing back so still a conservative look on defense for Mo but you can see the press so Mo's still pressed up 17 se or 17 seconds problem no timeouts down four has got to score a touchdown here so you're gonna see uh, Mo did a good job of disguising his coverage the last time he ran this most people will send that pressure off the right edge with that nickel back, but Mo sent the backside cornerback. So problem can't really uh, predict reliably what Mo might be looking to do out of this specific formation based on the pre-snap look he's giving. That is always the same. However, post-snap problem, I can guarantee you saw that both of his outside receivers were getting pressed at the line of scrimmage which was a dead giveaway that this was probably some type of two-man under type of shell and that's exactly what it was. Mo went with the pressure off the right edge so he sent five. He had two-man under so he had man-to-man -man on the outsides. Right here you see man-to-man, -man, two deep safeties and Mo patrolling the middle of the field. In this case problem ends up taking the shot. He could have went to either side as you can see both of his outside receivers ended up doing a good job of beating the press and getting behind their defenders on the outsides. He honestly probably could have gone to either one. I think that's Julio Jones on the left and Chad Johnson on the right. Mo kind of in no man's land in the middle of the field because of the fact that problem happened to not have any routes breaking over the middle of the field on this particular play. And he ends up going to the right side to Chad Johnson. Mo's user not going to get there in time, but... Mo's corner did a good job of recovering kind of all over Chad Johnson and Chad Johnson ends up making the catch anyway uh, to give Problem the lead and that's going to seal the game for Problem. He's going to go up by 3, 31-28 uh, with about 11 seconds left and Mo's not able to do anything of, uh, to try and you know tie the game or, or take the lead with those 11 seconds. So what a tough way to lose. Uh, that was two of problems touchdowns one on aggressive catch right there there's nothing you can do about that probably about 80 or 90 percent of the time the defender is going to be the one to make the play on the ball and it'll get batted out or something at the least but in that case Mo just did not win that dice roll unfortunate for him but you can't take anything away from problem he put himself in the position to be able to make a play like that and for a play like that to happen so it's not luck it's you have to put yourself in the position uh, to let that happen for it to happen in the first place so just him getting in that situation uh, was impressive so kudos to problem two fantastic players tough tough way to 
go home if you are serious mo but i can imagine he'll definitely be back next year but hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown i thought this two sequence of plays or the sequence of these two plays was very interesting so i hope you guys thought it was interesting as well but like i said hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time guys take it easy